this is a part two of our new teaching that we're doing on the fact that the Mashiach said in the scriptures in John chapter 8 that unless you believe that I am he you shall die in your sins and we talked about on our first session that uh, the the word he there has been added in that verse in John chapter 8 verse 24 that's been added by the translators so what the Mashiach actually said was, unless you believe that I am, you shall die in your sins. And we talked about the fact is that the, uh, he actually, I believe, said the creator, what the creator had declared is associating himself with Hayah is, is, would be the translation of I am. Um, it's a, the I am part, the English part is, is a, is a very limited, um, uh, you know, uh, translation of, of Hayah. Hayah is a description or a proclamation of, of our Creator that He gave to Moses or Masha in Exodus chapter 3 when Moses asked him when when he was to, to go to the children of Yashorel and Moses or Masha asked uh, our Creator, what is your name? And then uh, in Exodus chapter 3, our Creator said, Hayah, Hayah, uh, had, tell them that Hayah sent the, you to them. And uh, of course that is translated in our English translations as I am. And it's the same, I believe it's the same reference to what the Mashiach was making in this passage in John chapter 8, where he said that you will die in your sins unless you believe uh, that I am he, or I am, or Hayah. Now, the reason this is important is because the Mashiach is actually identifying himself as Yahuwah. He's actually revealing himself um, to, to the people that he is Yahuwah manifested in the flesh. Um, and that's important because that's Yahuwah declared all through the Tanakh that he was our salvation or our savior. And I mentioned, um, we left off in our last session, I told you that I was going to share with you some verses in the scriptures that where Yahuwah declared this to be the case. And uh, I want to read in Isaiah or Yashayahu chapter 43 and beginning at verse 1 here it says, and I'll read this out of the English translation first, and it says, I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, Yashorel, your Savior. Now of course he says right here, and if you were reading it out of the Hebrew, you would know that it actually says, for I am Yahuwah. Your Allahim, or your uh, your Allahim, the Holy One of Yasharel, your Mashiach, your Savior. See, this is what he's saying right here. I am Yahuwah Mashiach, your Savior. Um, he's declaring right here in the book of uh, Yashayahu that he is our salvation. Yahuwah is declaring to Yasharel. And of course, we know that salvation is not just limited to Yasharel or Israel. It's and we're going to read this in just a moment. In Isaiah 45, he declared that he was the salvation, that the whole earth were to look unto him. All ends of the earth would look unto him because he was our salvation. Now, in the same chapter of chapter 43 and verse 11, it's repeated again and it says, I, even I am, again, here's the I am part, or Yaha, Haya, Yahuwah, and beside me, there is no Mashiach. There is no Savior besides me. Again, emphasizing this is Yahuwah doing the speaking here, declaring prophetically, not only, not only in the day uh, 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 that this was written, but he is, he, in the future, he is our only salvation. And so this is important. So when, when the person that you know in, in your scriptures, maybe as Jesus, but whose, whose actual name in Hebrew would be, is, is and was Yahusha, when he declared that he was Hayah, he was, he was declaring that I am Yahuwah. And that's what he was really was saying there, unless you believe that I am, or Hayah, in other words, I'm, that I am Yahuwah, you will die in your sins. Because it had been prophesied in the Tanakh that Yahuwah is our salvation. You know, I'm convinced that this is a, uh, a reason why a lot of the, the Jewish or Yahudim uh, people have not accepted 
uh, the person that they that the Christians declare that his salvation is found in his the name Jesus is because they of course they, that name Jesus is not Hebrew and they know that the Mashiach would have a would have a Hebrew name and of course um, if you do the study you'll find out that he did and does have a Hebrew name it's Yahusha and uh, but if you could make the association that uh, Yahusha declared that he was Yahuwah he declared that I am he um, and that uh, he made this association with the fact that uh, he was, was the savior of the Mashiach that was prophesied to come um, now in the same chapter uh, chapter 43 let's see here this wind's really something but uh, I like being outside it's a better place to do this recording but uh, 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 actually I want to go to chapter instead of Mashiach is stating right here that Yahuwah is Yashorel's Savior. Verse 17 says, But Yashorel shall be saved in Yahuwah. See, it's revealing who they're going to find salvation, and it's in Yahuwah with an everlasting salvation. Then you skip down to verse 21, the same chapter. The latter part of this verse says, There is no mighty one besides me, a just mighty one. Beside me, there is nobody else. There's none. And then in verse 22, it says, Look, this is where you can see the salvation is not only offered to the Yasharel, but to the whole earth, to everyone. He says, Look unto me and be saved, all ends of the earth. For I am mighty one, or the Almighty One, and there's no one else. See, in, in verse 21, he just declared this Yahuwah, I am Yahuwah Elohim, there is no Savior besides me. So again, it's making the same reference in verse 22 that we're to look unto Yahuwah, the creator of the universe, the creator of all mankind, is our salvation. And when the Mashiach declared that uh, unless you believe that I am He, he's making reference to that fact that Yahuwah is our salvation. Well, we'll pick back up on our next session and go a little bit more detail about this. And uh, thank you for joining us. Nice cool day out here. The wind's blowing. I hope you can hear me okay. And uh, let me know if you're being blessed uh, by our teaching. And, and uh, I thank you for, for doing that. And uh, I love you. Baruch haba b'ashem Yahuwah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Shalom.